Well, hello everyone at St. Henry. So today uh, we've met here in this library before to talk about recommendations for movies and also for books. But today I have a guest that I'm going to do a, a little interview with, Dr. Mark Peters, who is a pulmonologist at St. Thomas Hospital here in town. And uh, he also attends Mass here a lot at St. Henry. Um, he and his family do. He and his wife Mary have raised uh, six children. And uh, I will say a word of introduction. Dr. Peters and I have gotten to know e known each other through the years at St. Matthew, first of all. And uh, he is the doctor that convinced me to do two medical mission trips to Haiti with a medical group. So that's how I learned what a great guy he is and a great doctor. And uh, a few weeks ago, we were talking about face coverings and why face coverings are important to wear uh, in public places, particularly as we gather our community back inside of a church building for mass together. And uh, he explained to me how the virus worked a bit and why face coverings are important. So I thought it would be great to hear directly from Dr. Peters on that topic today. Thank you. So, you know, the, the important thing with the face coverings is that uh, you're protecting other people from getting the disease. So what we've learned about the, with COVID-19 is that this disease, you can have relatively few symptoms and be contagious and not really know it. The other thing is, is that you are contagious, can be contagious for up to two days before the disease manifests with, with symptoms. So when you're wearing the face covering, you're really trying to protect your neighbor. Mm. So, you know, we're already doing all the other things, we're washing our hands, we're staying six feet apart. Mm -hmm. But the other part that's extremely important is for uh, when we're going to public gatherings like mass, to wear a, f a face covering of some sort so that I protect, I'm protecting you. Mm -hmm. you're, not protect you're not protecting yourself. Yeah, and I liked your, uh, and Dr. Peters, he, you talked a little bit about how the virus, a person, when they get the virus for the first couple of days, it's multiplying their body. It doesn't even test positive. And at that point, they're not communicable yet, right? No symptoms. But by day three, typically, a person may still not have any symptoms, but they can spread the, the virus at that point and test positive, right? So kind of the typical time course for something like this is from the, the day that you become inoculated or get the, get the virus to the day that you have symptoms is about five days. Okay. On, day, on about day three is when you can be starting to become contagious but not have symptoms yet. So then you have those next two days so, for which you have symptoms. So if somebody showed up at no mass symptoms. without a face covering and they're in that point in the illness, they could be breathing out the virus and spread it to other people without even knowing they're sick. Absolutely. The so, yeah. And some people don't even get sick with the virus but can spread it or have very mild symptoms and don't know they have this particular illness, true? Yeah, I mean, most, most people who have COVID-19 have mild disease. They're, they, they think they have a cold or they have allergies or something else and they may have a little bit of a cough and feel a little bad uh, but they don't really have the bad disease that we hear about on the news, yet they are still can still be very contagious. Okay. So the, the I guess the bottom line for all of us at St. Henry to remember is when we come back together at church as a community, the reason we're wearing these face coverings is to protect the other people around us just in case we have an illness that we're not aware of. So thank you very much, Dr. Peters. Anything else you want to say? He did yeah. give me a, a series of guidelines from the CDC, and we're going to post this for you guys to, to read through about face coverings. I guess the only other thing I would say about face coverings is you and I are sitting here with surgical masks on. Mm -hmm. uh, and most times surgical masks, you know, they've been in relatively short supply, so most times it's medical people who have access to these things. But cloth face masks or face, uh, face coverings are equally good uh, to try to protect your neighbor. And you know, as long as they, the face covering covers the nose, the mouth, 
is relatively tight on the sides and you can freely breathe so you're not struggling to breathe, that's a good face covering. All right. Thanks, Dr. Peters. You're welcome. I'm very grateful for your sharing your wisdom with us. Hope all of y'all stay safe. God bless.